alternative bases here. So first I have an addition problem in a base 8 system. So remember in base 8 we count through 7, but then after 7 we don't have a digit for 8, so we move into the next place and we call it a 1, 0. So as I perform this problem, I'm going to use our standard algorithms here. 6 plus 3 is 9, but 9 in base 8 would be 1 and 1, because 9 divided by 8 goes in once with one remainder. So that's where I get a 1, 1 from. Next spot, we get 7 plus 0 plus 1, which is 8. And how many times does 8 go into 8? Well, it goes in once with a remainder of 0. Next row, 7 plus 3 is 10, plus 1 is 11. How many times does 8 go into 11? It goes in once with 3 left over. Then we have 5, 8, 9 again. Remember, 8 goes into 9 once with 1 left over. And then 6, 7, 8, 9. So it looks like 9 again is 1 with 1 left over, and we're at the end here. So the answer to this arithmetic problem, this adding problem, would be 111301 base 8. Let's try some subtraction in base 2. So again, standard algorithm. I wish to go 0 and take away 1, but I don't have any, so I'm going to have to borrow or regroup. So I'll turn that one into a 0. And since I borrowed one of my longs here, I'll put a 2 up there. Now 2 minus 1 is 1, and then the next spot I have 0 minus 1, but I don't have anything so I can't subtract. So I'm going to have to come over and borrow, but 0 doesn't have any either, so I'm going to have to come all the way over here and borrow from this particular spot, making that a 0, making this one a 2, but now I can borrow from the 2 to make that one a 1, and as I borrow over, that'll become a 2. So 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 minus 0 is 1, 0 minus 1, oh, I gotta do it again, okay. So borrow from 0, there's nothing there. Borrow from 1 to make this one a 0, make this one a 2. Now that neighbor has some sugar, so I can borrow a 2 to make that one a 1, and then make that 0 a 2. So 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 minus 0 is 1, 0 minus 0 is 0, and 1 minus 0 is 1. So it looks like we get 101, 1111 in a base 2 system. Okay, let's try some multiplication. Here we have multiplication in a base 16. Remember in base 16, our longs are worth 16. So first row, 1 times D. Remember D is 13, so this would be D. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times F is F. And 1 times 2 is 2, so 2F, two 3D second row. I'm going to cross up the 1 and put a 0 there as a placeholder. D was 13, so 3 times 13 would be 39. How many times does 16 go into 39? Well, it goes in twice with a remainder of 7. So we have 2 times with a remainder of 7. Okay, next spot. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 plus 2 is 11. So we just get the digit for 11, which happens to be the letter B. Next slot, we get 3 times F. 3 times F, F is 15, so that's 45. How many times does 16 go into 45? Well, that goes in twice. 45 minus 32 would leave you with 13, so the leftover would be 13, which is a D. And then in the last spot, we get 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. So now, add these two together. D plus 0 is D. 7 plus 3 is 10, which is represented by A. F plus B would be 11 plus 15, so that's 26. 26, how many times does 16 go into 26? One time with 10 left over. One time with 10 left over. Now remember the D was 13. 14, 15, 16, so we get a total of 16 here, and 16 goes into 16 once with none left over, and 8 plus 1 is 9. So the answer to this problem would be 90AAD in a base 16 type system. Okay, last problem, let's change this here base 16 number into base 2. So to make our lives easier here, I'm going to use a little bit of a shortcut and count in base 2. So in base 2, 1 is just 1, 2 is 1, 0, and 3 is 1, 1. I could go further if I needed to, but 
but notice that I only have three digits, one, two, and three over here. So the base 16, three, two, one, changed into base two would look like the one, the number that represents three, the number that represents two, and the number that represents one, all written in base one. Notice they're in four blocks because two to the power of four is 16. So typically as a final answer I wouldn't write these zeros at the beginning so I would write my final answer as 11001001 in a base 2 system.